Hi. Are you ever just in a mood to make a different face out of your face because you've had this face just for, for so long and you kind of just want to spice it up a little bit? That's a rhetorical question. I don't actually care. Don't answer that. Plenty ways. I am wearing double denim right now. Look. Wonderful. They don't match. Do those two things in my intro have any correlation with each other? No, they don't. I just maybe make you feel a little bit better about your life choices or whatever. So anyway, done my intro. Over. Out. Done. Yada yada. Y'all got the point. I just want to contour my face today. That's just what I want to do with my life today. I am sure I'll get a million comments saying, oh, I like your face better without makeup. Oh. And that's cool, but I didn't ask. I just want to change my face. Let me do that in peace. Thank you very much. Anyways, I guess let's just let's just get started. Tap my hair up real quick. Da -da, let's get started. Let's let's just jump right into it. So I want to start off with a primer, and I was debating between the, the Touch uh, Liquid Silk Canvas and the By Beauty Change Maker Skin Optimizing Primer, and I could not decide. I really like this one. However, I have not tried this one yet. I've had this for a few months now, and I, I, I still haven't tried it. Actually, I can decide. I'm, I'm just gonna use the Touch uh, Silk Canvas Liquid Primer. I don't know if I'm gonna like it yet, but we'll see. I like the Bite one, because I'm gonna I'm gonna use the Bite Change Maker Supercharged Micellar... Micellar... Miscellar... Micellar... My Shuna! That foundation. I don't know if these two go together, but we'll see. Let's go. I don't know how much of this I need. I should probably check in with them to see what the right amount of primer would have been. I'm gonna be honest, this feels exactly like the, the regular, regular silk canvas primer. Feels really nice. Kind of mattifies the skin. So I am gonna take the bite. Change maker, supercharged micellar foundation. Muscular, muscular foundation, that one. And I am going to be taking Light 40. They were kind enough to send me this. And you don't need like a lot of this. I say is I am applying a lot of it on my face. That's, don't worry about it. It's fine. And I have tried it with a sponge and with a brush and I prefer the application with a brush. So I am going to be taking a practical foundation brush right here. Slide that onto my face. Now y'all just love how I'm just I've just decided that I want to film a video today for the first time in months and just not address the elephant in the room, the fact that I've been gone for months. You know what I always say, don't worry about it, it's fine. We're in a, a global pandemic, so I don't think me being gone from YouTube while I'm busy with other things for a little bit is the biggest of people's concerns right now. Ooh, oh, that looks really pretty with that primer. I am into that, very much into that. Quite like that. Big fan. Oh my gosh, I'm like your biggest fan. Oh. I wanted to highlight a new new foundation where it's too late for that. Oh well, who cares? I feel like this already kind of covered everything that I wanted to cover. Am I gonna take some concealer just for the sake of it? Mayhaps. I think what I'm gonna wanna do is take the Becca under eye brightening concealer. It's not a concealer, corrector. Whatever, I am just gonna be taking a little Sigma brush. This is the, the baked precision. I am not gonna be using that to bake. I'm so sorry about it. But we're gonna just apply the tiniest, teachiest little amount of that onto the under eye. This is very potent. This is extremely pigmented, so you don't wanna overdo it and end up looking like a clown. <laughs> That's an oxymoron. I already do look like a so I'm just gonna apply that in all the spots that I need a little bit of color correcting under my eyes. Now I'm gonna be honest, I am not the biggest fan of Becca products. Your highlights are cute or whatever, but this under eye corrector is, it is so good. We're gonna just highlight a little bit and I'm gonna be using the, I am gonna be using the Yves Saint Laurent All Hours Concealer. Just a little bit of that under the eyes. A little bit, a little bit right here in between the eyebrows. And I, I'm gonna be using that same little Sigma brush. Pat that in, just to have a, a, t a, a, t a hint of highlight. I just wanna make people believe that yeah. I kinda just actually look like this, you know what I mean? Fancy ways, we're gonna be using the, the Hollywood, the Hollywood Beauty Light Wand Easy Highlighter in Spotlight by Charlotte Tilbury. Lightly apply that onto the cheekbones, 
a little bit on the bridge of the nose right there, a little bit on the tip, and that's it. Blend that with the ring finger. The thing with applying makeup with your fingers is it's not really about, it's not really about the texture of your fingers. It's more so about the warmth that your fingers give. The ring finger is lightest in pressure onto your face. So it is best to be using with cream products and it just works really well for that. Obviously the pinky works well for small areas like the inner corner. If I do something on the lips, I like to use my index finger. So there's that. Then I'm gonna be taking some Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I have repurchased this. And I'm gonna be honest, this stuff is expensive. And it's, she's cute or whatever, but she's so expensive. So expensive. And I'm gonna be lightly dusting that all over the face. You don't wanna use a lot of this. This is not a full coverage matte setting powder. It just helps keep everything in place and make everything look a little bit more flawless. It's very finely milled. I really like this powder. And to finish up that powder, I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Setting Powder in Butter. This is a more heavy duty powder. It, it really mattifies your skin. It is very intense. I don't really like using this all over the face, but I do like it for the under eye and the smile lines i'm gonna just lightly let that sit for a little bit a little a little bake if you will i know i don't usually do that but i've just been really into it lately and if you don't like the more matte finish that i've been going for lately you can take it up with your mother you can fight your mother about you it. know fight someone who cares because it's not me i'm gonna wipe it up blend the excess into the skin a little bit and voila we look like Angelina Coli. No, we don't. I wish. Next step, I'm gonna be taking the Sigma Duo Fiber Blend E41 brush. This little tiny brush right here. And with that, I'm gonna be doing my nose contour. I don't wanna have a sharp contour or anything like that. I wanna keep it soft and kind of just strengthen up my nose and my eyebrow area. Not that I need a stronger brow bone. I just want it. Just today because again we want to look like Angelina Jolie and for that I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills powder bronzer in Tawny it is a little bit more of a cold bronzer because I have more neutral undertones I prefer a more olivey type of bronzer such as the Fenty Sunstalker bronzer bronzers in in the sun but this because it has more reddish undertones it neutralizes things on my face a little bit without like making things appear too cold or too harsh so we're gonna just blend that into the eyebrow right here in the front and what you're gonna want to do is take that onto your nose this side of your nose and just arch that a little bit just like that at the top i like to take a little bit of a bigger brush and i'm just gonna take that into the inner corner as you can see i have deep set eyes so the space between my eye and the top of my nose bridge is quite low blend that all the way Blend that down a little bit onto the nose. Make a little V shape at the tip of my nose. And blend that out all the way. Obviously, how you contour your nose and everything on your face really depends on the shape of your nose and the rest of your face. So, if you have a different face shape from mine, you might not want to contour the same way that I do. Then we're going to take that same bronzer and go a little bit under the eye god damn my skin looks good i'm gonna take a little bit of that into the crease as well and angle that upwards towards the outer edge of the brow avoiding the crease that goes right here in the corner of your eyes so that you get more of a cat eye shape or a fox eye which has been popular i guess lately so i haven't been making videos for a while right and i was planning on getting back into things but then you know you all know what happened with the world right and i, I mean you can stay in the loop it's it's hard to avoid you know what i mean so i kind of just i felt like it was insensitive to be filming video right out my window people just keep walking past and it makes me feel very uncomfortable and my sister is here so i don't want to take up like the living room my sister is here from belgium obviously i don't know if y'all knew that my sister lives in belgium but my sister lives in belgium she's an interior design student she's very cool love my sister so much i usually film 
in the living room. And I, I scoot over to couch and all of that. And obviously, I don't want to do that now because she lives here for the time being. Oh, I'm going to be taking the, the Fenty Brow MVP Ultra Fine Brow Pencil and Styler Crayon à Sourcil Ultra Fin et Pinko Truc Durant. I got all of that wrong, I know for a damn fact. Just gonna be taking that and adding a little bit of a light stroke in front of my brow because my brow hair is thinner here, right in front. And then what I'm gonna be doing is taking that same brow pencil and use that as a little bit of an eyeliner. It just broke off. Anyways, I'm just gonna take that brow pencil and kind of just like line the top of the lash line with that and wing that out a little bit and wing out the inner corner as well. So there we go, there we have the eyes. The eyes are the window to the soul. Have you heard about that? Have you heard that one before? I bet you haven't. Well, they are. I'm gonna use that as well to contour my lips a little bit. Take that on my Cupid's bow right here. A little bit under the bottom lip. Just like that. Then I'm gonna be taking one of the NARS blushes. They knew what they were doing with these blushes. They're all so pretty. I really like these new NARS blushes. I don't know when these came out. I think last month or something like that. And some of them were really vibrant, so they work really well on dark skin as well. I did, however, see that they made a bronzer in. On the website, it looked really dark. Obviously, people with dark skin were purchasing it and trying it in store, and it, it wasn't all that. Anyways, this blush is called zen i'm gonna be honest that looks like a bronzer to me a little bit of a bronzer so i'm gonna be using it so take that on top of the cheekbone right here what you're gonna want to do with bronzers and all of that is apply it upwards you don't want to drag it downwards a little bit at the top of my forehead just like that and there we go we are not done yet nay nay we do not yet look like Angelina Jolie. Anyways, we're gonna be using the Hourglass Ambient Straw Blatting Powder and Euphoric Straw Blat. I think this is a very pretty subtle highlighter and I'm just gonna be taking that. Just a little bit of a, a kiss. Cheekbones, of course. I'm gonna be taking the 24 hour Benefit Brow Setter. I think this this packaging is very gaudy, very over I really don't like their packaging. I've always been turned off by their packaging. In January of this year, I collaborated with the Wigs and Makeup Manager. Hi, Vanessa. I love you so much. And she used this brow gel on me. And I was shocked. Wow. Let me tell you why I was shocked. Because I was shocked to find out that my brows were staying in place. They were just sitting there in place not going anywhere as you can see i have very thick dark coarse brow but this stuff oh it worked it worked and i, I said i'm shook and i said i'm shocked vanessa what are you using on my brows right now and vanessa said i'm using a 24-hour brow setter by benefit so when i went to the airport on my way back from london i went to the benefit brow bar at Heathrow Airport, because how could I not? Anyways, I'm going to be using that and kind of just feathering my brows up a little bit. Just enforcing that arch. Give it a little bit of a pizzazz. So I'm going to be using some of the Max Factor 2000 calorie dramatic volume. I wouldn't say that, but it's nice. It, it, it Especially when it's nearly dried out. And I'm just going to poke my lashes in a little bit of that. Just a little bit. Top and bottom. Then I want to add some fake mold. Why do I want to add some fake mold? Because again, we're going for... I'm wearing a lot of makeup, but it doesn't look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. Ooh. Oh, that looks cute. Look how cute we look. Oh my god. Why am I talking like Lily Pons? Can we not do that? So then the lips. Did you know that the lips are the window into the soul? I am just going to lightly overline my top lip. 
on the sides right here. Galan down the middle. I don't know if that does anything, but we're gonna do it anyways because it feels good. It feels right. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Then I am gonna be taking the Bye Beauty Agave Lip Mask. And as you can see, I got it yesterday and I've been using it all the dance out. My neighbors are just standing still in front of my window. Can you move? It's good at all. There you go. That was very awkward. I didn't like that. Anyways, let's let's spray the face with some NYX Bear With Me Prime Set Ref. And just pat that in with a little bit of a Fenty sponge. And how's that? We look like a different person. But haha, I tricked you. It is just makeup. Hee <laughs> hee, tricked you. Haha. <laughs> tricked you. So I'm gonna just quickly do my hair off camera. Well, not off camera. I'm so glad you asked about that. I'm actually gonna be recording a short little Instagram video on doing my hair. So, so you should follow me on Instagram for a little bit of a... A little bit of a tutorial, a little tiny a little bit of a tutorial. We're getting closer to 600,000 followers on Instagram, so I'd really appreciate if you'd contribute, and I'm gonna peer pressure you into following me on Instagram right now, because, like, why wouldn't you? Why haven't you followed me on Instagram yet? What is wrong with you? I just don't understand, like, what is your problem? What is your deal? Anyways, also subscribe, maybe. Anyways, I'll be right back. One hour later. Here we go. I did the hair. I did all my makeup and all that. I decided because obviously this makeup turned out a little bit more glam than I intended. It's a little more kabow. It's a little bit more in your face, if you will. So I decided to go with a little bit of a, a little red carpet moment for the hair. You know, a little bit more of the I'm a rich white woman. I am part of the bourgeoisie. Um, you can find me in Paris smoking a cigarette through a straw. Yeah, uh, oui, oui. Like I said, I posted a little, little, just a, a hint of a hair tutorial on this little Hollywood moment over on my Instagram, which is Lothonium Snow. Lithonium dot snow, if you will, I will link it down below. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, maybe subscribe on here. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You've probably already watched like all of my other videos because I don't have a lot of videos. So it's easy to binge them. Like it's really easy to binge them. If you want to binge them right now and you haven't already, you can go right ahead and binge my videos. I'm sure you'll have a grand old grandiose Fabulous, so just fantastical time. Anyways, I think that's my cue to stop because I have had too much coffee today. And I am hopped up, I am hot, I am sweating. I am sweating. Goodbye. See you guys in the comments down below. And I'll also see you guys on my Instagram. Goodbye.